Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. The Ministry of Labour and Social Development succeeded in making many achievements in 2020 despite challenges imposed by the repercussions of the corona pandemic. The Ministry was also able to continue providing its services to citizens within deliberate plans, programmes and initiatives. With the economic, political, social and health challenges the world has faced in 2020, the Kingdom of Bahrain has succeeded in overcoming these difficult challenges by turning them into opportunities and then translating them into countless achievements as a result of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Ministry of Labour and Social Development launched a wide range of initiatives in line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's response to the repercussions of the coronavirus pandemic in a manner that does not affect the Ministry's services. Based on the Royal Directives to launch a financial and economic stimulus to support citizens and the private sector to deal with the effects of the pandemic and maintain sustainable growth, the government ensured that the salaries of citizens in the private sector and the salaries of Bahrainis in the most affected sectors are paid from the Unemployment Insurance Fund, which was supervised by the Ministry in coordination with the Social Insurance Organization. The Ministry also activated the Global Electronic Recruitment Mechanism permanently, which enabled it to complete around 19,000 employment processes during 2020, in addition to establishing an automatic registration system for job seekers that allows them to register and choose a suitable position without the need for personal attendance. Until October of last year, the Ministry continued to disperse cash compensation dues to citizens in exchange for lifting subsidies on meat. The Ministry used remote training technology to contribute to establishing a modern phase through utilizing technological development in the field of training and human resources development. Due to its outstanding efforts, the Ministry of Labour and Social Development won the Arab Government Excellence Award for the year 2020 for the Khutwa Home Projects Programme as the best programme for community development. The Sheikh Zayed Highway Development Project is one of the vital strategic projects on the main road network in the Kingdom. The Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning stated that this road represents the main artery for transporting traffic from a number of areas towards Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Road to Manama and vice versa. In addition, it will contribute to easy access to the educational district in Issa Time and will reduce traffic jams in front of the driving school at Bahrain National Stadium. The Ministry of Health announced through its official Twitter account that the total number of citizens and residents who took the anti-coronavirus vaccination in the Kingdom of Bahrain reached 60,097 as of 9pm yesterday. The national campaign for vaccination is witnessing an increasing turnout as the Kingdom provides the vaccine free of charge at various medical centres for citizens and residents in order to reinforce the precautionary measures within the national efforts of Team Bahrain. The Ministry had called for registration through the Be Aware application to take the vaccine in a step aimed at enhancing the efficiency of the course of the vaccination process and making use of all available technologies. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,274 with 189 recoveries and 271 registered new cases. 125 of the new registered cases are expatriates. 125 are contacts of active cases and 21 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.